Here's a very nice young bovine female reproductive tract. Set it this way. We've got the labia and the clitoris and the fossa clitoris. Here we're going into the, we can see the urethra. And the urethra is going to come out through here. And we have a little diverticulum that's been cut open here. This suburethral diverticulum makes it a little hard to get a catheter in there. But you just need to be aware of it so you don't put it into the diverticulum. Okay, so that's going into the urinary bladder. Here we have the vestibule. And then this being the vagina. The vagina is opened up. Now we've cut the cervix a little bit through the cervix here. So we see the opening into the cervix. This space in the vagina around the cervix is a vaginal fornix. We then go into the uterine body. As you can see, this is very young, a very small uterus. So in the bovine, we've got the ram horn shape uterine horns. We can see very nicely here the dorsal and the ventral intercornual ligaments. This is nice because if you're doing rectal palpation and you want to bring these up into the pelvis, you hook your finger into that and kind of pull it up. We should be able to see here some little, here we go, little ovaries, a lot of little follicles on it on each side. Okay, and so we're going to have the oviduct within the mesosalpinx. Then we have our mesovarium and our mesometrium suspending the uterine body. We've got that free edge of the mesometrium, which is the round ligament of the uterus. Okay. And so that is the cow genitalia. Here's a larger specimen from an older animal. We can see the clitoris here in the clitoral fossa. We have the labia of the vulva. We have the vestibule. Here's our external urethral orifice. You need to be careful when you are trying to pass a catheter into that because there is a diverticulum. Okay, so back here is going to then be the vagina. We don't have that opened up as we did in the horse. We do have the, back here, the horns of the uterus. And you see they're kind of ram horn shaped. And they've been cut open so that we can see the caruncles within them. And on one of these sides here, I know we have an ovary. The ovaries are much smaller than what we saw in the horse. Uh, here we go. So here's an ovary and it's been transected and we can see a corpus luteum right here. Okay.